We can speak now to Greece's alternate minister for tourism, Elena Kontura. She's from the independent Greeks party, a coalition partner to Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras, Syriza. Welcome to the program, first Thank of all. you so much. You Thank here. you for having me here. Now, we'll turn specifically to the tourism sector in just a moment, but I just want to take the temperature of the Greek economy now after what's been a very rocky road over the past uh, few months or so. Capital controls were applied back in June and, and July, for instance. Where is the Greek economy now from your perspective? We're very optimist. The truth is that we've been going through a very difficult time. The negotiations were very hard. And Alexis Tsipras, our prime minister, I think he did his best. Uh, and the reason is that uh, was a deal that was not good enough because I think it was uh, a bad management before. So now I think we have all the opportunity to uh, get advantage of the new, let's say, deal that has hope and also uh, a lot of um, possibilities to get out of the crisis if we work with uh, a schedule and uh, if we do things right and especially uh, try to help all this uh, um, business that, mm -hmm. uh, as you know, uh, the last five years suffer and close down. So we need to get a boost. If we look ahead, though, Alexis Tsipras has staked part of its part of his credibility on debt relief. He's calling for debt relief for Greece in order to get out of the debt mountain that Greece is currently under. That seemed to be part of the reason why he's in New York, to drum up support for debt relief. Do you think that he's going to get anywhere with the Eurozone and also with politicians from elsewhere? Well, I'm very happy that everybody all over the world now knows that our debt is not sustainable. So there is a possibility for us to uh, get down to talk about that. But and do you think that the likes of Germany, for instance, will, will listen to that? Well, message? they have to. They have to because we will do our best to be in uh, correcting our obligations. And so everybody has to do his part. So I think this is very important for us because we are willing to do all the effort to get out of this crisis. We were willing to go, uh, you know, to step uh, in front. We have to leave past uh, behind us. Mm -hmm. So to be able to make all these efforts, we need your help. You, we need everybody to be close to us. And you know what? That's what friends are for. I'm here also to thank or everybody that stand by us because our voice for first time uh, the Greek voice everybody all over the world heard that austerity measures they forbid uh, development that's the truth so we need to go forward let's look specifically then at the tourism sector you've had a pretty good year with more than 26 million visitors in Greece so far what does that mean for the wider economy well, um, I got uh, this position on the 25th of January, and from the first moment, we put down our schedule and our uh, strategy to make sure that we will prolong the season, we will open up new, new markets, we will develop the thematic tourism, which is very important for us, like medical or uh, religion or sports or gastronomy or uh, all the uh, sea tourism, yachting, luxury, cruise. So at the same time, all the regions, we work together to give our, uh, all our advantages. And uh, at the same time, try to bring a lot of investors because we have great opportunities right now in Greece and we are a country that everybody can have, you know, uh, opportunities there. So this is our goal. And we worked all together, the private sector and the public sector. That's why we have this great result to say that it's a great year, 2015, with your help, because French people, English people, German people, all our traditional markets, they came. We increased mm -hmm. more than 20% for our traditional market. They helped a lot. Now, Greek islands have enjoyed a, a lower VAT rate than the mainland uh, so far. That's something that's going to disappear on the 1st of October, so the day after tomorrow. Yeah. Is that going to impact the tourism sector? We'll see. We'll see. We have to be competitive and we have to find the ways to reduce this uh, tax. I'm not happy with this tax. I don't think that the islands deserve to take off the 30 percent, the reduction. But... We will do our best, private and public sector, to work together so we'll be, we will be competitive and not have any impact. 
All right, uh, Minister Contoura, it's been a pleasure to speak to you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much, much indeed for coming here to uh, France 24.